Hello friends. Friends, today we will discuss the relation between E and H in a uniform plane wave or we will prove that electric field is approximately 377 times than H. Okay. So, electric field is approximately 377 times than H or E is equals to 120 pi H. This we will prove in this derivation. Now, let us consider a uniform plane wave traveling in z direction now suppose the electric field vectors are along uh, y direction and magnetic field vector are along x x direction therefore electric components along x and z direction e x will be zero and e z will be zero okay now suppose along y direction that is along this direction the electric field component is given by EY equals to E naught cos of omega t minus of beta z. Okay, I have already uh, discussed about these terms that is omega is angular frequency, beta is phase shift constant. So where E naught is the magnitude of the wave along y direction, beta is phase constant. Now from the Maxwell's third equation from Maxwell's third equation that is del cross E equals to minus dB by dt. Del cross E is equals to minus dB by dt. Or now we will expand uh, this uh, minus dB by dt so minus db by dt we can write down this like in the three components that is bx i cap plus by j cap plus bz k cap okay and this equals to this equals to what is what was that del cross e so del cross we can write down in the form of determinant i cap j cap k cap d by dx d by dy d by dz okay and e three components ex ey ez okay so d by dt is this one and del cross e is this one okay now which three uh, which two components are zero this is i cap j cap k cap d by dx d by dy d by dz now EX is 0, okay, EY is there because electric field is traveling along uh, the Y direction and EZ is 0. Now we will expand this relation, so this will become I cap D by D by 0 minus D by DZ EY, okay, minus of J cap D by DX is 0 minus D by DZ 0 plus k cap d by dx ey minus d by dy 0 so it will become minus d by dt bx i cap plus by j cap plus bz k cap equals to minus of i cap curly e y by curly z plus k cap curly e y by curly e y by curly x okay now put the value of e y put the value of e y uh, from this equation from this equation this equation is equation number one okay put equation one in this equation that is the value of ey okay here okay suppose this is equation 1 uh, equation 2 so put 1 in 2 so we will get in the right side minus of i cap d by dz e naught cos of omega t minus beta z plus plus this is k cap 
d by dx e naught cos of omega t minus beta z now what will be the differentiation of this term because this term here it is there is variation of e with respect to x but there is no component of e along x direction okay there is no component this is variation here it is z so differentiation is possible here because beta z can be differentiated with respect to z otherwise this whole term is constant with respect to x with respect to x okay so this this term this term second term will become zero so we will left only with minus i cap minus i cap with differentiation beta e not sin omega t minus beta z plus zero now equating the respective components left side there was minus d by dt bx i cap plus b by j cap plus b z k cap now if we will equate equate the respective components then we will get d b x by d t equals to beta e naught sine of omega t minus beta z d b y by d t equals to zero and d b z by d t is equals to zero okay now this is equation three and these are equations uh, 3b okay this is 3a this is 3b now components of the magnetic field are found by integrating equation 3a now integrate this equation this equation integrate with respect to time okay so this will become d b x by d t d t equals to beta e naught sin of omega t minus beta z dt remember this is b magnetic flux density this is beta okay that is phase shift constant therefore after integration we will get bx equals to minus beta e naught cos of omega t minus beta z by omega and again what is this what is this this is e by from equation 1 from 1 so this will become minus beta e by by omega now beta is 2 pi by lambda and omega is 2 pi nu suppose this is equation number 4 now put the value of beta and omega in equation number 4 so it will become bx equals to minus 2 pi lambda 2 pi nu e y okay e y fine so 2 pi 2 pi cancel out so uh, you will get the result b x equals to minus 1 by nu lambda e y or minus 1 by v not e y because velocity in free space is nu lambda or e y equals to minus v not b x okay uh, this is our equation number 5 now as b x is equals to mu not h x b is equals to b is equals to mu not h okay and v not equals to 1 by root of mu not epsilon not okay now put uh, these equations in equation number 5 value of bx and value of v not in equation number 5 you will get e y is equals to minus mu not root of mu not epsilon not hx root of mu not 
h x so this you will get e y is equals to minus root of mu naught epsilon naught h x or e y by h x equals to minus root of mu naught epsilon naught or if we will change the terms that is e x by h y is equals to root of mu naught by epsilon naught or in general in general magnitude of e by h is equals to root of mu naught by epsilon naught the value of mu naught is 4 pi multiplied by 10 to minus 7 and value of epsilon naught is 1 by 36 pi multiplied by 10 to power 9 after solving this we will get e by h equals to 120 pi ohms or e by h is approximately 377 times ohms because the value of pi is 3.14 and if you will multiply 1 by 20 pi uh, 1 by 20 you will get 377 so e is approximately 377 times then h okay this is the relation between e and magnetic field density okay i hope you have understood the derivation thank you thanks a lot